has been some unfortunate circumstances surrounding the um the previous episodes. So if you go to my uh, if you go to my YouTube channel where I save all the vods, you will actually realize that uh oh oh right I have a Twitch recap available. You will actually realize that um we have oh sorry let me just uh. Let me just turn my master volume down to like 15. Okay. So, um, <coughs> and this is another problem. I have a really bad cough. So basically, what has been going on is, hold on, hold on. I am not using my streaming settings. I should be on a render distance of maybe six chunks. That'll, that'll help a little bit. So, uh, we have not... We have actually not streamed since five months ago, and it's currently December, which means the last stream was in July. And if you remember, the July stream was actually the stream where we killed the Ender Dragon, uh, got its egg, uh, and we got enough Shulker shells to make two Shulker boxes. That was that was about it. And we also got a bunch of Chorus flowers, which I've turned into a bunch more Chorus flowers, courtesy of this uh, Chorus flower farm that I have going on outside my house. It's uh. It's, it's 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 kind of a terrible design. I could make an automatic farm that would get us way bigger rates. And in case you haven't noticed, uh, the sugarcane farm, which was formerly about three blocks tall, which was from, sorry, uh, not three blocks. It was formerly the height of about three of these units, right? So you had one, two, three. It's now um one, two, three. I fell in a hole. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe it's nine units tall. Anyways, and it's making me sugarcane so I can do... A bunch of trading with villagers. Anyways, uh, I have I have actually a ton of things that I want to get done on stream. First of all, uh, <coughs> I'd like to fight the Wither, which means we are actually switching out weapons for the first time in a long time. So we are going from our uh, we're going from our rolled up newspaper to our anti Wither butter knife. So. If you guys just give me a little bit of time, let me very quickly grab, uh, what's something burns? Sticks. Sticks burn. So, let's go to the furnace room, or I guess the kitchen. Uh, let's chuck this in here, and there's a bucket in there. Might as well stock up on some more infinite fuel for later. Oh, well, not, not really infinite, it's just there's, there is really a lot of fuel. Ignore this, ignore the stuff in this chest, that's, um... Uh, yeah, I, I really, I don't, I really don't have an excuse. There is no excuse. There's no excuse. Uh, and I think I... Okay, so part of me is like, hey, maybe I should switch out the boots. But the Feather Falling is actually a very useful enchant. And what is not useful... Okay, actually, Fire Protection is... Okay, Fire Protection is really good. So I might have to switch out the pants. Yeah, so anyways, let me just very quickly uh, switch out the pants. And I'm going to make a set of gold pants... And just, you know, because I can afford it, I'm going to throw mending on them. Uh, now I have a bunch of- oh, wait, uh, oh my- oh, yeah. You know, you ever, you ever, like, have stuff to do and then you just completely forget? And then you come back later and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I really should have been doing that. Yeah, that's, that's me right now. Okay, so, efficiency four. That makes that. And then I put this here. And we have... God pick one. Okay, that's that's God pick one. We're gonna make we're gonna make nine of these. Uh, well, okay, we're gonna make as many as I have the XP to make. So let's quickly. Uh, and I realize it's actually a little bit cheaper if you, what you do is like combine the stuff onto a book, or at least combine like a couple book enchants. So, bam, comes five. This becomes ten, and this becomes good, hashtag. Uh, sorry, this becomes God pick hashtag two. Okay, so the reason I'm making these god picks is because uh, I like to quarry out a kind of a large area in a place that I know is a slime chunk because I've been doing a lot of digging around underground. Or at least I I was in the ca in the uh, cavern. Oh, wait, it's nighttime. So, uh, okay, a quick, quick recap. Because a lot of these are not actually on my YouTube channel in the form of VODs because... Twitch changed its policy so that you can't instead of keeping uh instead of keeping your vods for two weeks or about fourteen days, it keeps them for a week. Keeps them for seven days. And uh I was not caught up on that news until the when I went into camp for two weeks. So it got rid of all of the all of the VODs that I failed to upload, including the ones where I was fighting the Ender Dragon. 
including the ones where we actually beat the Ender Dragon, which is a little depressing, but eh, it doesn't doesn't really matter. We've we've got an Elytra, which is you know all all I all I really need, and yeah. So uh, this week, well, I guess this this episode, we go to hell. Uh, it's something something. I I feel like there are more hell jokes that could be made, but I I I'm just like missing the opportunity. So, let us make a magma cream. Oh, wait, actually, do I need to use my last magma cream? I could. I could actually use a slime ball to make this. And then I would still be able to have a magma cream in reserve. Now, why would I keep one magma cream in reserve? I don't know. Maybe I want to go netherite mining. Just, just maybe, you know. Uh, just checking there are no water bottles in there. And let's get down to business. So... I think I'm going to put the brewing stand in the same room as the uh, potions. So yeah, I'll put them up there. And then I'll go one, two, three. This is fuel. And first thing I need is nether warts. And then this is the second ingredient. And I believe redstone is duration. It, I think redstone is duration because glowstone is power. I think I remember that much from, from Minecraft school. You know, when I went to when I was a student at Minecraft Academy, I actually have a really good university course. I'm saving up some money to go there. God, can you imagine if they taught Minecraft in school? I would, I would. There would finally be a subject I'm good at. Ah, uh, anyways, uh, so I'm just gonna leave rolled up newspaper here, and I'm yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Actually, Goddy Ruddy is not gonna be useful in the Nether or that useful. So yeah. Anyways, let's take the rest of these bad boys, and we got 53 levels. We might as well, might as well use them, you know. Uh, bam, bam, and then bam, bam, and then bam, bam, and then we'll call this God Pick Number Three. And we are making actually decent progress. I might just soon enough. I might have enough uh, God Picks to like quarry out the whole the whole underground area beneath. Beneath, or I guess at the slime trunk, which I found in the cave underneath my base. In case you don't know, uh, my base is completely covered up by this enormous fucking cavern. Oh, sorry, the underside of my base. Or my base is built right over this enormous cavern, which is kind of unfortunate because it keeps spawning endermen that uh that really like just stealing stuff, like picking up a block that they can't despawn, and then never leaving, just like ever. Okay, so that's God pick four. Let's see God pick five. I can probably make I can probably make up to the I can probably make one oh whoops, I just dropped the book. I can probably make up to six. So if I do God pick this is number five, I believe. And I believe I can make the sixth one if I I guess plan the levels properly. If not, eh. I guess I guess we just miscalc. Okay, so here and mm, okay, I can definitely make the book at least, which is gonna be uh, efficiency five, fortune three, and then mending. There we go. So it's gonna cost way more to put the book uh, onto this pickaxe, but yeah, you know, you live, you live, you live and learn, and we're probably not gonna die today. I hope. I would like to I would like to have a totem of undying, but I've I've actually never fought a raid on account of the fact that I live in a very peaceful area. It's weird, I've not seen a single mob on the surface in like the whole time I've been here. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, we are going to no, no, not doing those four. Not doing these four, not doing these four, or these four today. No, no. Well we're gonna get to the slime palm eventually, but uh the main the main goal today is beacons. I would like a beacon. And I've come to realize actually that I might not have... I might not like have... Oh wait, hold, hold on, hold on. I, I'm sorry, it's, it's just clicking in my head. I don't really have that much food on me, which is kind of silly. Let me grab the... Let me, well, first off, let me grab these. Second off, let me grab uh, any iron that I have left around, because there's a farmer villager, and with the use of the farmer villager, I might be able to snag myself a few 
okay, a large number of golden carrots, which are the best food in the game, in case you guys were wondering. And, oh yeah, the villager breeder has, oh my god, I, I've done so much work on the villager breeder that I haven't shown off on, on camera. Uh, well, okay, I guess, I guess I can go down and show you guys, uh, since, you know, we're about to do something dangerous, we might lose the world. I mean, we probably will not, I sincerely, oh wait, god damn it. God damn it, my farmer villager is no longer here. That is that is kind of a bummer. Let me let me quickly run downstairs and get him. Or oh, and while we're downstairs, I can actually show you the uh, the progress that's been made. So, as you guys remember, by the time stream 7 rolled around, I had this mine shaft that runs down to the cave system beneath the base. Now, we've done a little bit of work on the cave system and it's it's <coughs> <coughs> and it's kind of enormous. So, if we go down here, you are going to end up seeing what looks like a brick wall. And the reason for that brick wall is because it is the outer edge of my villager trade hall, which is still a work in progress. I might I might actually do some of the work for that on stream. I might not. Uh, it's kind of iffy. So, here is the place that should have a farmer who is out of golden carrot trades. This is, oh, that's a bummer. Anyways, uh, let's see if I have any golden carrots like st stashed away. So, we have a villager that trades everything. And by that I mean Smite, uh, Luck of the Sea, Riptide, Respiration, Fortune 3. These, this, this guy was really weird. He, sold, he sells you a Fortune 3, and then he sells you a Fortune 3 for almost three times the price. And then he doesn't sell any other like super noteworthy books. That's the guy that sells Knockback, Sharpness... Unbreaking fire asp. Oh wait, hold on. What? What is my sword missing? Anything? It is actually missing unbreaking. Uh, I would like to put unbreaking on on the sword, but I do not have a book. Okay, give me a second. Just very quickly, uh, do that. Let me quickly get an unbreaking book off you. Thank you, my guy. And you know, while I'm here, I might as well just finish. Get you to your max level. Uh, quick charge, channeling, piercing, protection. Oh wait, uh. No, I could throw prot four. Just I could just throw a generic prot four on the pants. And you know, while I'm here, if if I can afford mending, you you know what? Nah, I don't I don't think that's I think that's a little bit of overkill. But yeah, so I've been doing a lot of work down here in the villager trade hall. You have no idea how much time it has taken me to get all of these fucking villagers down here, and. I do not seem to have any golden carrots lying around. That is very unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, very unfortunate indeed. So, we've lit up more of the cave. Uh, I, I need to update you guys on all of this because so much of the world has been... Well, so much of the progress that's been made has been made on stream. And a bunch of the VODs have not been uploaded. I'm just assuming this is... I'm, I actually don't even know if this is episode 8. This could be episode 9. It could be episode 10. Uh... But what I do remember is Dr. Quantum, I have a wit I have a witness, Dr. Quantum, who can verify the fact that I fought the dragon. Uh, you know, it's, it's like I have a girlfriend, she goes to another school. But no, I believe Dr. Quantum and Elfie were in the chat. Uh, if not, then I have just lost the VODs of the first time I've taken down a dragon in Hardcore Minecraft, which is a little bit sad. I would like to stick a piece of uh, netherite on this, but oh, actually, you know what, hold on. I'm see I'm thinking. I'm doing a little brainy. I'm doing a little braining, right? I'm just thinking, just using my brain a little and I've realized we could probably make netherite work. Or I could probably go down and get some netherite very quickly. Uh come back, stick the netherite on my sword and then have a really high damage weapon and potentially put a piece on all my armor. But here's the thing. Uh four pieces of armor is 16 ancient debris plus the plus the sword that's 20 ancient debris. That's quite a bit of it's quite a bit of ancient debris. Anyways, let's let's not worry about the how much how much ancient debris this will cost. Uh, okay, so I have found I have evidently found the way to a nether portal, and the reason I say that is because oh wait hold on nope that's the way through and down. Okay, uh, is if I go up here I have left a trail of torches. I am wearing my blue pants right. Yeah, good. Uh, oop, wait a second, is this the way? This might. Uh, this this might turn out badly. Let me uh, let me get my let me get old trusty out. Uh, 
Okay, so there's a nether fortress that I have been to, because I own blaze rods, but I have no idea how to navigate my way there. And I just brought a shitload of iron. That was way more iron than I actually needed. Uh, let me very quickly put down a chest that contains all these items, because I have, I am... I am not fancying the idea of carrying around basically a full inventory with me wherever I go. So, oh my god, I've not made the po I've not made the potions. I've not crafted up the armor. This is this is really embarrassing. I swear, I'm usually not this much of a scatterbrain. That's kind of a lie. I am. I am quite scatterbrained. But uh, enough of, enough about me being a scatterbrain. Let's quickly make the potions and. I feel like I should carry other potions, like, I, I feel like if I'm fighting wither skeletons, I should be doing it with, like, a strength pot up and going, but, um, kinda wanna do a lot less brewing and just, like, save the strength pot for... Oh, oh, wow. Okay, hold on, this is 7 attack damage, plus this, it's 13, and plus the 5 levels of smite, that might actually just, you know, cleave apart anything I want it to. Um, I don't know if there's any Wither Skeletons able to stop me at this point. Uh, hmm. Okay. But before I do, I have 26 durability left on a bow. That's kind of, kind of not good. That's actually kind of terrible, even. So, let me just very quickly run up here. Oh, right, I clicked the right block. And then I thought I clicked the wrong block. Okay, so, there we go. And then let me just put... Uh, I'm breaking three on this bad boy for the cost of ten levels. Oh, for the cost of all the levels I had. Whoops. Um, well, uh, first I need to find out how much it would cost to put protection on this, and then I'll just grab some of the bottled XP that I have. Oh, god, the anvil's starting to break, which is sad. I think that was the first anvil I have. Okay, so five levels. Okay. Uh... There we go. We now officially have the pissed pants. Why are they called pissed pants? Because I'm 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 a coward. That's why. Uh, my cowardice is legendary. And there are other enchants I could put on my stuff, maybe. Uh, but I don't I don't think that's super super necessary. Anyways, we should have three minute fire resist potions. I just chucked the redstone into another chest, didn't I? Yep. There we go. So, let's uh, very quickly go through here, and I've realized this room is a little dark. Uh, I think it might be a product of like the night sky, but it is still kind of a dark place. Oh, and the second level of my house hasn't been lit up either. Let me just, uh, now I, I've, I've refrained from lighting the place up so that I could, you know, basically not need to clear out a bunch of torches when I'm placing my walls, but I think as long as I don't place them on the wall blocks, I should be safe. But, uh, but yeah. Could I... Can I just, like... Atta girl. I mean, atta boy. Uh, you know what? Nah. I'll just, I'll just leave, I'll just leave that one there. So I wish you could plant chorus flowers on anything. Or, like, they don't need to grow on everything. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could just plant a chorus flower itself on any block. Or any, like, dirt block. And they just may grow, may not. Oh, wait, hold on. Just checking I have mending on all my gear that, that actually, you know, could mean the difference between life and death. That's uh, usually usually a good idea to have, right? Okay, bada bing, bada boom. We have 24 minutes to journey to the fortress and back, which I hope is going to be enough time for us to find the wither, or I guess find a wither skeleton, and or find enough wither skeletons that I will get a... Uh, what is, what am I looking for? I guess, oh wait, hold on, I'm not, I'm not even getting these for the wither skeletons. I was getting these for ancient debris mining. Oh, 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 is that it? Okay, yeah, there's, there's really no way for me to get down there, but I think there's gonna be a way for me to traverse the general area at the bottom. Hello. Good day, good day, sir. Hello, neighbor. Uh, do you happen to know how I could get to the... Oh, wait, okay, it's it's evidently through here. So let me just quickly demarcate this place with a torch. 
Um, you know, because the whole biome looks the same. It's kind of... might be a little easier to avoid getting lost if I'm just carefully planting torches wherever I go. And I see what looks like an open area. Uh, that is not the right one. And this, does it... okay, hold on. I'm starting to feel a bit of pause. Nope, that one just closes off. Which means that the way to the fortress is probably through here. Now, let me just... Oh, oh god. Okay. Wait, what? Did, is that not the block it... Okay. So, the reason I'm grabbing quartz is because... Uh, well, I use quartz in a bunch of my... I almost said digital. It's because I use quartz in a bunch of my technical farms, and we do need quite a bit of quartz. Especially for when we reach the time, when we reach that point in the game, that I will be using stuff like item sorters. Because comparators, uh, yeah, com redstone comparators, they need quartz. I think they need quartz. I'm not 100% on that. But yeah, I do remember quartz being part of the, basically the shopping list of things they use for item sorters. It, was this an ancient debris mine or? Nope, that's way too high for me to start mining ancient debris. Which means this was probably a portal, or this was probably a passageway between two points. I think. Anyways, that's already a decent stack of quartz, which is, which, you know, by itself has made this trip worthwhile. So yeah, this, this alone has made the trip worth something. Oh, and I'm getting back XP, which is good, because I will need to expend quite a bit of XP to make that array of god pickaxes. Uh, and I hear piglins walking around, or I see piglins walking around via the subtitles, and I'm not 1000% sure where they are. Whatever it is, let me just hope my golden leggings don't break. Okay, so this is up. I do not see any like clearly demarcated like spots. Any demarcated like walk this way, travel this way, safe to travel. Oh, okay, they're fighting hoglins. I saw the, I saw the piglins like preparing for a fight, and I was like, but I'm wearing golden pants. Anyways, uh, we need to we need to focus. We need to first off, we need to get to the fortress. Second off, we need to kill a bunch of wither skeletons. And once we've killed a bunch of wither skeletons, I will hopefully have a piece of gear blessed with them. Um, what the hell? Okay, I have not been to the nether in quite a while, so I think I'm lost. Uh, give me one second. Go up to eight. Is there, an, is there like a nether fortress around this corner? No? Well, shit, I, I guess I'm gonna have to use chunk base to find out where the nearest nether portal to me should... Wait, hold on, is that a nether? Nope. Okay. Uh, did I make this tunnel? No, I probably did not. Okay. Uh, let's very quickly... Uh open up chunk base. Oh, okay. Go to seed. Does it have my map seed in place? If not, nope, it does not. I'm just going to have to click and then, oh, whoops, capital A, U-S-P-I-C-E, auspice, Java, nether, Give me a minute, I'm just doing a bit of chickety check-in. Okay. Uh, loading in the world. Actually, what is what are my coordinates? Uh, my, negative 41, uh, 170. So, my coordinates are negative 71. I'll, I'll just type 180, because we're a little bit closer to that. And then set a pinpoint and... Okay, it seems like the closest, uh, the closest nether fortress is 200 by 107. Okay. Oh, is oh wait no, it's it's a uh, yeah 200 by 107. So let me just uh, well let me just get running. I mean, no better way to travel than by foot, am I right? Okay, so I just want this number to go down, which is 
all of the things. Uh oh, this this might be troublesome. Well, I might just be able to run into a run past those hoglins and you know pass parade them. Okay. So if I want to get to that place, I'm going to need to go about a hundred blocks through here, and that's quartz. Delectable, delicious. Devious licks. I'm just saying random words that start with D. Demonstrable. Demia. Derrier. Can't think of can't think of many many D words. Dickhead. <laughs> no, that that. Well, actually, yeah, that that is a word. I'll I'll, I'll say fair play because that is a that is actually a word that people say. Um. Um, yum. You know, what, let me just yeah, let me just break through. You know what? Fuck it. Let's 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 travel there on foot. That's kind of a that is kind of a long drop, kind of a long fall. Well, it's a good thing I have feather falling on all my gear. I've been shot at. All right, you son of a bitch, where are you? Did oh, was that the sound? Was that the sound effect of a gas dying? Huh. Well, okay, I guess I am a better shot than I credit myself with. That was that was surprising. I hope he doesn't have any friends. Ah, wait. Those those definitely look like pieces of a nether fortress. Um, and it's my least favorite biome in the game. Of course. Of course it is. Couldn't just, couldn't just have a normal nether fortress in a normal biome, could I? Nope, had to be, had to be here. Where else? Okay, so the question is, how does one get down there? Wait, but did I did I even see another fortress? Hold on. Uh, wait, did I see another fortress? Am I am I tripping? I think this biome has cut my visibility down by a huge amount. But when I came through here. And I looked over... Am I... Are my eyes deceiving me? Do my eyes deceive me? They do. They do. Apparently my eyes do deceive me. Um, that's a very nice big deposit of quartz. Uh... There really is supposed to be a fortress at 200, at 200, 100. Uh, oh god, not you. I thought I was going to return to sender that arrow. Can I return to send an arrow back into the ghast? Was it too far away? I think it's too far away. Which is unfortunate. I would have been I would have been down to get a very cool kill. A very cool cinematic kill. Okay, let's 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 go back. Let's go back to where I needed to be, which was that that I am not in the right place. Oh, and also it's day three hundred. That's pretty cool. Uh yeah, I need to come back to about Y100, which is about here actually, and then I need to go that direction for 100 blocks. I went, oh, I went 100 blocks in the wrong direction. That, uh, that makes sense. 
knowing me. As long as I keep going this way, I should hit the fortress eventually. Um, I think this is a safe place for me to use this bridging method. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it should be a safe place. I sincerely hope it is. But I can come back off camera when my game performs a little better and just build parallel rails to help travel across here in future, I guess. I'm getting too good at predicting what the nether is going to do. We're about 25 blocks out, allegedly. Oh wait, I should have I should have checked the uh, I should have checked chunk base for the height, because I might be you know borrowing way below or way above where it is. Just very quickly check chunk base. Uh, it does not specify a height. That's a little unfortunate, but eh, whatever. It does say 203, 107. So I feel like as long as I go to those coordinates. Um, well, this is awkward. Okay. Uh, 203, 107. All right, kids, I'm going to do something very, very dangerous that you are never supposed to do in Minecraft. But it's okay, because I have fire resistance potions in my inventory. Oh, yeah, well, okay, something you're never supposed to do in the nether, specifically. Okay, so I'm pretty much at the ceiling of the nether. In fact, I can see nether bedrock which tells me that it's below. Now, since the nether also has a few like high drops, I think what I'm going to do is dig, dig a too wide tunnel. So that if something unfortunate happens, if I'm say to fall, uh, well, no, it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be here. I will be able to catch. I will be able to arrest myself, or you know, just not break the block I'm standing on. Is it here? Nope. But what is here? Some quartz, which I need a lot of. Uh, I think I want to make that comically large uh, sugarcane farm reach build limit. Which oh wait, bingo! That is that is the Nether Fortress. That is the Nether Fortress. Okay, how do I get down there? More importantly, how do I get down there and then make myself a way back up safely? There's a blaze spawner. I think since I've been the ender dragon, I can afford to break blaze spawners, but I'm not 100% on that. Oh, wait. That looks like... The okay, these blocks look like blocks I would place to prevent uh Oh wait. Keep forgetting these things wear out. But yeah. Also I keep forgetting blazes can do melee damage. That's really weird to, for me to like conceptualize. Anyways. These, those, those blocks look like blocks that I definitely, definitely placed. So, I guess it's time to get back on the hunt. And hopefully find the pathway I made myself to get out of here. Could have been this one. It's not like I, it's not like I left myself much torches. Yeah, wait, hold on. Crimson Forest feels familiar. It feels like I'm... Feels like this is the forest that my portal comes out in. Anyways, I'm not 1000% sure on that. Uh, and again, I'm not 1000% sure on a lot of things. Ooh, I wish, I wish this like section in the Soul Sand Valley was a lot larger. That way, I could actually get myself quite a bit of a... 
I could actually get myself a lot of Wither Skellies to spawn. Uh, yeah, I'd get mad profits from this. So yeah, this is this is basically going to be me running around in hell, looking for looking for people of color, skeletons of color, to kill for a beacon. I'm not a good person. Actually, I think I'm some. I think I'm one of the worst. If we make leaderboards for terrible people, I'd, I'd be pretty high up there. Um. Erm. Um, well, there's a way to get to there from the bottom. I'm not sure if that's the right way. And I see like no wither skeletons, which is odd. And I've hit level 20, which is nice. I can make a couple more shovels with that, I guess. Uh, but I'm not interested in shovels. Well, I mean... Oh, sorry, not shovels. Uh, I could make a couple more pickaxes, but I'm not super interested in them. I am way more interested in a beacon. You know, because if, if I have a beacon... Okay, hear, hear me out. Right? My base is pretty much a trade hall. Uh, if I want more emeralds... To, to do like a monster number of trades, I'm going to want, uh, well, I'm going to want a lot more, if I want to do like a huge amount of trading, what I'm going to want is a lot more emeralds. For me to get my hands on a lot more emeralds, I might want to build a pillager farm. To build the best pillager farms, you need a beacon. So, to get the beacon, I need to kill a bunch of wither skeletons. Actually, how many have I killed before? Statistics. Uh, mobs. Yes. Wither Skeleton. I've killed 29 Wither Skeletons, and I have never been killed by one before. I'm genuinely surprised that a Wither Skeleton has never killed me in this hardcore world. Oh, there. There we go. Some new friends. Any gifts from my new friends? Nope, unfortunately not. Uh... Okay, we'll just very quickly throw a couple of these out, and I think I'll keep the twisting vines, you know, just just for the feels. That is, that's a wither skeleton over there. I'm gonna go run and kill him, unless I'm stopped by this guy. Oh, oh, oh! Keep hearing the sound effect wither skeleton rattles, which means he's got to be around here somewhere hello but did it wait did i see a wither skeleton i swear to god i was standing like over there and i thought i saw a wither skeleton here maybe i'm losing my mind can't can't can never eliminate the possibility even even with the best bill oh, yeah there's definitely a wither skeleton around here i hear him rattling I hear him rattling, ta rattling a tattling. I hear him rat tat tattling. Where is he? With a skeleton rattles, where's the sound effect coming from? That direction. Uh, it's coming from that direction. Is is it coming from this direction? Oh. Okay. I think my best bet might just be running up and down the length of the fortress. Well, I think a better bet would be to conserve a little bit of food, maybe. Um, but yeah, just like run up and down the length of this fortress, and eventually, like, the, the fact that the, these, you know, this whole place is made up of hallways is going to mean that I bump into a wither skeleton, right? One would assume. I don't want to have to start spawn-proofing this whole fucking dimension. 
uh, really don't want to have to start doing that. Oh, right, also clear out clear out stuff at my head level, but not his, or not Thea's, so I can keep, uh, you know, just keep running through. Just keep running, running, running. Is there a Wither Skeleton here by any chance? Um, no, but this does look like the kind of place they'd be. Nope. Uh, pfft, I might just... Oh, wait, I hear them. I hear a Wither Skeleton rattling from here. Are you down here? Oh, that's where he was. Somehow he managed to shoot his... I, I'm, I'm pretty... Okay, I'm guessing the Wither Skeleton fell between me and the... Wait, so... Oh, okay! They were up there! Well, that makes sense. That makes so much sense now. And none of the items they dropped are 3D, which is already unfortunate. But there was, there were others here. Oh, whoops! Almost ate the wrong food. It would not do well to, you know, waste my gaps like that. Hey, another three of you. Uh, would any three of you kind gentlemen like to give me your head? That, that phrasing. <gasps> yes! Okay, first with the skeleton skull. So at first I was at like 29. And then... How many have I killed? 40. So... 11 with the skeletons. <coughs> that's, uh, that's how many I had to kill to get the first skull. You guys are curious about what I'm doing. It's I'm building I'm building something that'll prevent them from running through. Although wither skeletons can still spawn in here, that is a that is a big magma cube. Hey big guy, you wanna drop some more magma balls? They give me fire resistance. Okay, just gonna just gonna kite his kids into the room so I can kill them too. Uh And then I guess my I guess my life for the next 40 minutes is going to be run here. <coughs> Sorry, still have a cough. Stand against this wall for a bit and then start running back to see if any have spawned in the other parts of the visible fortress. Yeah, and some have. Delightful. Simply delightful. And I will of course uh kite them back here. To where I can hit them, but they cannot hit me. And kill them, which will hopefully clear up more of the fortress's spawning area. So that when I run back here, I will hopefully see more. Is that a wither skeleton over there? No, that's just three blocks stacked on top of each other. I might need to I might need to get my glasses improved. Might need someone to really quickly t change the degree on these bad boys a little. Anyways, uh, same old, same old, run back. Run to the corner. Wait for a little bit. Well, not too long. I don't think it's necessary for me to wait that long. And since I'm not seeing a lot of piglins in this farm, uh, well, I guess, I guess... I guess I can just chuck on my big boy pants. None at the crossroads? Okay. Um, none over there? Nope. 
None in the rest of this place. Nope, although those piglins will not be happy to see me. Uh, you know what, I'll get rid of these. Yeah? Okay, coordinator with your family all settled. You should switch. You want to eat your... You sh okay. Do you confirm that you don't want lunch? Yeah. Alright, so back at it. We are running through. Um, oh, hey, the wither skeleton's up there. I've been missing a good opportunity to get, I uh, like, maybe a potential of, like, a fraction of a chance at a skull. Which is not an opportunity I'm in a position to miss. So, we just break up here. Uh, wither skeleton's here. Uh-oh. Did not know there was a way up. Uh, the skulls? Are uh, there wither skeleton skulls here? I mean, they're wearing them on their heads, but... Nope. Guess not. Um, well, I guess I'll just head back the way I came. Yada yada. Uh, how do I get back down there? Okay. Here is the way I can take. And... Dang it, I don't wanna I don't wanna have a stream where I only get one skull and then have to come back off camera and kill like sixty of them to get the next few, you know. Wait, I'm hearing it again. I'm hearing wither skeleton rattles. Uh oh. That was a bad move. That was a bad move, and he should have known that was a bad move. Is there one of you up here? Yes, there is! Do you have cool stuff? Do you have... cool stuff for me? You do not? Why not? Why don't you have cool stuff for me? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so the blazes aggro from further away. Oh, wait, does a jump crit insta-kill a wither skeleton? Hold on. Science time. Come here. Come here so that you're far, far away from the edge. And jump crit. Oh my god, I think it does. Well, that's going to make my job a little bit easier. Provided I can keep finding these things. Um, they are rather elusive. Especially today. And, uh, yeah, once I make a beacon, this should not be a problem. Or at least, okay, uh, r rather what I, what I intend to do is I intend to make a very easy, I guess, like, wither, like, you know what, yeah, like, I'll, I'll make, like, a wither cage somewhere, somehow. And then using said wither cage, I'm going to... Really don't want any of what I am right now. Bad move. Bad move. Bows are faster. Bows are a lot faster. That's a. Uh, I don't think that. I don't think that zombie piglin was really good at PvP. I guess PVE. No, no, it's it's EVP. Yeah, he's not very good at EVP. And then again, he's, he's not really an environmental thing, is he? It's a mob. So, MVP? Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not the MVP. Anyways, let me very quickly run my route through this fortress again. And see if I find any wither skeleton friends. How the fuck did you get here? You know, I'm not complaining. I will always take free food. Huh. So run through here. And, um... I guess check that I don't hear any wither skeleton rattling coming from here. Oh god, blazes have an absurd detection range. That is actually crazy. I think it's almost as bad as ghast or like the guardians. Elder guardians. I almost said the big guardians.
There we go. Please drop cool stuff. Yeah, I feel like I actually feel like my portal is within like like draw distance here. But anyways, enough about that. Let's um Huh. Let's get back to Wither Skeleton hunting. Or oh, Wither Skeleton killing. Skeleton. We we the skeleton. Wither skeleton. Bad move. Kind of a terrible move actually. Uh Hmm. There really should be more Wither Skeletons spawning. up here nope maybe if I leave the farm or leave leave the fortress a little bit and just like walked around and then I'm like and then the game's gonna despawn all of the mobs out of range and then I, no change my mind I'm heading back here the game will be like okay uh, spawning in a fresh batch of Wither Skeletons. Hmm. I don't see a lot of them. Then again, maybe I should turn my simulation distance up a little bit. Maybe that will simulate the game at a slightly further distance. And once I'm doing that, I should be able to... Uh, well, I mean, if the game is being simulated further away, it mob spawning should logically happen from slightly further away, I think. Sorry if I sound ill, I am still a little bit sick of being alive, but uh, that's, I'm, still, I'm, I'm still a little bit nasally. I can do a, I can do a, I blow my nose into a couple of tissues ASMR if you want. Yeah, uh, <coughs> let's hope the simulation distance thing actually helped and I've caused a couple more Wither Skeletons to spawn. Hey, I've caused one more to spawn. Gotta be worth something, right? Was that not a crit? Was I not falling when it happened? I guess it wasn't. No crits. No crits for you. Wait, that motherfucker's still alive? There we go. Fix that problem. Fix that problem right up. Oh, and then a new problem appears. I just realized fire protection kinda kinda really lessens the danger Blaze poses to a player. Which is good. I'm re not really a fan of being in danger. Okay, that's me running to the end of this place. And oh, wait, hold on. I've just realized uh, probably grab like four soul sand so I can do, you know, the summonies. The summony ritual. The ritual in which I summony. Do I think there are any wither skeletons up here? Are there any wither skeletons up here? What is? That is not a wither skeleton. Hey. Did drop cool loot though. He 
didn't want the smoke. He didn't have that dog in him. Nope. I should, maybe I should go look for a slightly larger nether fortress, potentially. This one's this one's a little small. <gasps> Wait, with a skeleton! Please give me your skull. Nope. Well, on the upside, I'm getting a little bit of charcoal. Oh, uh, sorry, a little bit of coal. And, uh, I guess coal is good for trades and fuel, but then again, I have better fuel options. Like, like, way better fuel options. Um, maybe I should consider making one of those, like, lava farms? Uh, no, no, or bamboo farm. I mean, I'm very inclined to say bamboo farm is better. Okay, do wither skeletons just, like, not like spawning here anymore? Have I hunted them to extinction? Nope, nope, I have not. There's, I see one downstairs. Come here. Come here, you fucker. Where are you? Where the hell are you? You. Don't fall, don't fall off the platform. Don't do that. Don't, don't do something silly like that. Why don't you, why don't you come with me? Why don't you come with me? And, uh, yeah, just, just run, like, right over here. And... No skull. <sighs> Maybe I should start slabbing this place up. Then again, that'll take like a billion cobblestone. Um... Anything in here? Any of the things I want to kill in here? You know, blaze rods could also make decent fuel, I guess. Uh, but man, this is this is slow going. If I like, come through here and wait for loot, mm. do I want to wait? Be like, um, you know, what? I might as well keep the bones. I live in a peaceful biome. It's not like I get a lot of those, and they're gonna be useful if there's anything I just need to bone meal the crap out of. Um. Hey, one, two more, lovely. Uh, no, please give me your skull. I need it to fight God. Come here, come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You're cool. No, not cool enough to give me a skull. And you, 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 you're just fucking taking up the mob cap. Expose more fortress blocks. Which will hopefully result in more fortress spawns. You know, logically. go. You know what, I will say this about the fortress though. The for like, like, nether fortresses are probably the best place to go train yourself to be better at Minecraft archery. I, I think there's, I think nothing compares to like, you know, shooting blazers, blazers that fly, and levitating enemies.
Wow, I look tired. Which is fair, I am a little bit tired. Uh, but yeah. I see a, I see a skeleton and a blaze down here. Did it drop its blaze rod somewhere I can pick up? Nope. Oh well. Oh, hey, new friend. And I'm apparently being set on fire. That's lovely. Lovely, guys. Thanks. Yeah, just, just, just like run over here and let me hit you repeatedly and potentially behead you. It's just this. Well, let's not focus on that one. Let's focus on our budding friendship. You fucking kidding me? You can see me from that far away? Well, unfortunately for you, I can hit you from that far away, so. They, they fucked with the wrong arsonist. Wither skeleton rattles? Where? Where does the wither skeleton rattle? Oh. Ow. Ah, uh, damn it. Didn't drop a skull. I what numbers I'm doing. I mean, I wonder what, like, you know, wither skeleton numbers I'm at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. You don't get to escape. Nobody... None leaves... The, nobody gets to leave the funhouse. Not until they've had a beacon load of fun. Uh, uh. Nope. Oh well. But yeah, there's, there's there's so many things I actually want to do with my hardcore world. I want to um. Well, first I want to kill. Well, first off I want to kill the wither. Second off I want to get a full powered beacon. Third off I want to use the haste to explore those slime chunks. Uh. Fourth I would kind of actually like really that one dropped nothing. I'd like to use that, um, <coughs> use the uh, newly cleared out space to build a slime farm. I'd like to, and using that slime farm, I'd like to make machines that clear out water instantly. I think you guys can tell where this is going. And then, I want to raid the ocean monument that's quite close to my home. And once I'm done raiding that ocean monument, I would like to, um, well, I'd like to, I guess, consider making that a permanent residence, permanent home. You know, I'm I'm an animal looking for forever home, and potentially making some pretty pretty cool builds with Prismarine. <gasps> Yay, second skull! Yay! Hurrah! Just find that third motherfucker, wherever he at. <laughs> oh god, but my sti but my stiffles are terrible. I really do actually have the, the sniffles. It's a medical case of the sniffles. The only cure is getting good. <coughs> <coughs> oh fuck's sake, not more of you people. I deal with you every fucking day. But you know what, it is actually... Okay, it does make sense that if I kill a bunch of hostile mobs, uh, the mob cap will open up a little more. And then, you know, with more open slots in the mob cap, uh, I can open more wither skeletons, craniums, with my sword. 
Maybe I should have carried rolled up newspaper in my inventory and just you know, kept it as like a sidearm for things that are not undead. Because smite, oh, smite has its uses. And it has thing and smite has things it cannot do. Like kill living things. I left some XP over here. Hmm. I'm also running out of food from the human world. I might actually need to switch to raw pork chops for the last part of this duel. <laughs> so let me just see. Right, when I got the first wither skeleton skull, I uh I got it from that crossroads. Okay, my second one I got it from like here. No, I got it from like down there. Which means that logically if I just keep running back and forth eventually I'm gonna get some wither skeleton skulls to fall into my pocket uh, or for whatever it's worth I'm most of the way there 11 20 okay so let's just go until we hit 80 well let's just go until we hit a hundred if I kill 40 more wither skeletons and don't get a skull eh we'll 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 give up for the day We'll start working on our other projects, like making a big-ass guardian farm. Or getting a comically large amount of terracotta, because, you know, to make something that the sticky, that the piston machine doesn't stick to, gonna need a lot of terracotta. Which will probably, actually it probably need to entail me finding a mesa biome, and then using that mesa biome to a... Uh, Basically, mining the whole thing apart. <laughs> nope. Wait a second, if I... Okay, so if you one-hit kill them, they don't tell their friends that they're annoyed at you. Which is good information to know. It can help me thin out the mob cap a little. Um... Hum hum, hem 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 hem. You are not a wither. You are. I almost said you are not a wither. You are not a wither skeleton. So I don't really need you at the moment. Oh, they're hidden under cover. How terrifyingly smart. I like how I can just run through the attacks like a tank on account of this fire prod. <gasps> yes! <gasps> oh my god, last skull! That was the last wither skeleton skull we needed, boys. We can head home now. If I can remember where my home portal is. Okay, uh... so I got one fire resistance pot left. And I see a bridge down there. I could make the jump. I could just try and find... Okay, where did I break into this fortress from? Did I come from the top? I don't think so. Did I? I don't think I came from the top of the fortress. Let me just, um... Huh. Damn it, I have no earthly idea where I came from to get here. I think I might have come from down there. Did I... At the very least, did I make myself a staircase? I feel like I'm not the kind of person to make staircases, but I feel like I should. Uh, hold on. You know what? Let's just... Let's just pillar up and see if I can find any land features or any geographical features that look familiar. That should be... That should be a queue that tells me where we where we need to go. Oopsie. Oipsie poipsie. That's not good. What What is also not good is the fact that I'm going to come up here and be surrounded by piglins who probably want me to die on account of the fact that I'm not wearing gold armor. Yeah, look, everyone's got a fucking issue with me. Is that a torch? 
Is that a torch? I think that might be a torch, you know. And if that is a torch, that means I was there. And if I... I'm, I'm, I'm really almost out of blocks. Okay. Is that a torch? Or is that just me seeing shit? Nope, looks like it was just me seeing shit. Uh... I wish I took down the coordinates of my home base. I wish I had had the foresight to just write that shit down on a piece of paper. Um... Maybe there's... Oh, wait a sec. Okay, hold on. I, I have an idea forming in my head. Uh, and the idea is that if I was up there, I would most definitely have... Put down some sort of, like, torch web or something. You know, torch web actually sounds like a pretty cool browser. At least it sounds cooler than, like, Opera. Or some shit like that. When I did not bring... But I do not have my shovel on my hotbar. Did I... I feel like I've seen this place before. I don't just mean the nether, I mean I've, I feel like I've seen this place before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have now. That that was a torch, right? I just did I just see a torch when I jumped off this thing. Oh nope, that was not a torch, that was just natural lighting. I wouldn't know, I don't go outside that much. Uh Alright, fuck it, I got one chance to get out of here. I have one surefire way to get out of here. Um, uh oh. Whoa. That was very lucky. And what I was going to say is... There. There. So I have a pathway that comes up through the foot of the nether fortress. That goes up through the foot and then it pillars its way up to somewhere I can climb on. Now, I'm not sure what this how long of a route this pathway takes, but it should be able to take me back there without without too much difficulty. So, let's just waddle, swim, walk. I'm not really sure what this action is called. Flail. But yeah, also I've realized there's actually a lot of magma back there, which is going to be good for the... when I'm eventually building a gold farm in this hardcore world, because that is that is one of the plans. Okay, let me get on. Let me nail these fucking ghouls with a couple shots. Okay. And if I was... yeah. Yeah. I definitely made a straight line path back to home. Which I wish I knew where it was. I wish I knew where home was. You know, just, just things that sad orphans say. I wish I knew where home was. Okay, so let me just break my way up here. Oh, there's, there's. That's a little bit of quartz. I don't want to ignore that quartz. There's good quartz. Good quartz, which I need for redstone. There we go. So, one, two. I'm just going to eat a golden apple because, you know, I can, I can make more. Well, I will be able to make more at some point. And where do I go from here? Okay, go up through here. Uh, don't like that thing. I'm gonna beat it with a stick. Very pointy diamond covered stick. Diamond encrusted rock. Wait, no, sorry, rock encrusted stick. 
Okay, got that one. Uh, this staircase is the one I presume leads me up or leads me home. And then as long as I keep following those, um, yeah, these, these pillars. Okay, I remember the way home now. Uh, I definitely remember the way home. It's uh, follow follow the black pillars. You will see them. You will see them basically connect up to each other. Uh, it's weird that golden apples aren't like better in terms of food yield. But yeah, now I know how to get back to that fortress, which is good. There we go. There's my Nether portal. Ah, I missed. You. Or rather, I missed. I missed being home, and not in this, you know, hell dimension. Motherfucker! What? What? Oh, oh! It's the chest. It was opening a chest. Even though I placed that chest, well, that piglin's kind of a douchebag. My chest. It's not his. Look, he placed it. And anyways, whatever. Semantics. Uh. Semitics. Let's place all this shit down here. And... Okay, so I could do one of two things. I could... Uh, I could... Uh, get a bunch of chickens to lay a bunch of eggs, and then... Basically make myself a wither rose farm. Or just, just something that will create a bunch of wither roses when it dies. Or, I could, uh... I could not do that. And and just kill the wither on stream today, which would be much much more efficient. And actually, now that I think about it, I, I think I think killing the wither on stream today is probably the better bet. So we are going to go down, and we're not even going to go regular down. We're going to go like deep, deep in the mines. And sorry, I still have the sniffles. And we're going to kill the wither. And once we kill the wither, we're going to make a maxed out beacon. And we're going to give ourselves haste. And that is going to help me insta mine a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's the plan. Okay, so run, run, run way down. Way, way down. And I think once I'm about here, here's a good place as any. Let's go. Let's go like 10, 15. Okay, let's go like 30 blocks out, in case this gets a little bit out of hand. Hey Dr. Quantum, welcome to the stream! Uh, you've caught the first Hollow Hardcore stream in almost five months. Actually, it may be more, because, you know, YouTube dates aren't super reliable. And... Mining sesh? Oh no! Not even a mining sesh, Dr. Quantum. A withering sesh! Yeah, I, I went on a wither skeleton hunt. And I got a bunch of them. I, I wanted to, I was considering actually making this uh, like a place where I put a bunch of chickens, but I, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, I forgot to bring, I forgot to bring an arrow. I literally forgot to bring one arrow, now I have no access to my bow. Alright, fuck it, melee time. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we melee. There we go. Absolutely cheesed. Pathetically. Absolute, absolutely pathetic what I just did. But we have a nether star. And I'm realizing that once I have this beacon up, or, you know, once I have... Like a beacon array set up. This is this might be the world that I never die on. Because beacon beacon very powerful. So yeah, getting a beacon was the first step in my evil master plan. Second step is uh mining out the slime chunk that I found. Is this one of the old worlds? Uh, this is actually Hollow Hardcore season seven. And I f D Dr. Quantum, do you remember the stream where I beat the dragon? <laughs> For the first time in Hardcore, this is that world. This is that Hardcore world. It's the one where my armor is named funny stuff like Jorts, Blue Crocs. I have the Anti-Wither Butter Knife, Fortunate Sun, God Axe. I, I can show you my house, actually. This is the one where the seed was Auspice. 
And uh, I live in a mushroom biome in a big wooden house. In a wooden house that looks sort of terrible. And I'm, I want to change that, except to change that I either need a lot of copper or I need a lot of prismarine. There's a cold ocean bordering half of my base, and there's a ocean monument in the sea next to it. Yeah, that one. Oshbish. So yeah, let me just run back up. And if you don't recall, it's uh, it's this one with the with the big obnoxious iron farm and the and the house I live in, of course. So I was let me let me just quickly take a nap. And we've been getting a lot of achievements. Uh, we we got spooky scary skeletons. We got uh, withering heights. And next thing we're gonna get is I believe the bring home the beacon achievement and another one. I'm not sure which one, and I'm not sure where my obsidian. There we go. Okay, so, make a beacon, and we're going to break down one of these into something that gives me uh, iron nuggets. I don't know why I did that. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, let me... I have so much iron, I can probably go get hired help as well, and that will make that will mark a lot of the achievements I actually finished. Uh, whoops. Advancements. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to respawn the dragon, go fight a shulker. Cure a villager, never done that. Uh, tame one of all cats. Uh, get in a boat with a goat. I, you know what? I've not even found a single bee yet. No bee, no bamboo farm. No, no tadpole. Uh, I, I'm probably going to get that one eventually, but I haven't even found ne uh, ancient debris yet. But yeah. Uh, it's weird. It's weird how I've progressed in this world. I basically made a beeline for the ender dragon and then didn't do much else uh, what was I gonna what was I gonna do I was running back into the house for some reason why was I running back into the house what what, what did I forget um you know I genuinely can't remember what I forgot uh I was gonna make itself clear eventually I'm just gonna I, uh, nope, I go, oh right, I was gonna make a golem. Thank you, Dr. Quantum. You, you, you jogged my memory. Okay, so, I have a pumpkin. Oh, I have multiple pumpkins. I have shears. And I think the central atrium of my house, which is going to be the middle one that has sky access, would be a good place to put my new friend. Uh, since, since he's basically gonna be my butler, protecting my house from anything that comes in, I'm gonna call him Jeeves. Or Alfred, Alf uh, Alfred, mm, Al Alphonse. You know what? Tr you know what? we can have more than one. In fact, our house could have a golem in every room, so that if a nasty creature runs into my house, it it has it has a real rough time. Okay, so I can call it something like Alphonse, maybe. So, at the moment, even with my uh, efficiency five, when I mine blocks, it's a little slow. It's a little bit slow, but. If I come over here and put down a bu -bu -bu beacon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine is the is the biggest beacon base size, but I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is the largest size to make the optimal beacon. I'm not sure. I think it goes. I think it goes nine, seven, five, three. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do have a lot of experience building beacons on the Farlands SMP, in which I was sort of a sort of a beacon aficionado, and by that I meant like when I'm digging a big fuck ass hole, I'm not doing it by hand. So get me a beacon or so help me God, I will I will throw a temper tantrum. Okay. So, this should be the size required to create a max power beacon. Hey, there we go. Let's take haste 2, and with the magical power that is haste 2, I go from normal mining 
to insta mining, which is great. Uh, no more worries about like cobblestones, having enough cobblestone to make a bunch of observers. No more worries about having like you know stone deficit. No, because I'll be rolling in the shit now. Anyways, let me just. No, oh, while I'm here, I might as well take down a couple layers. Also. Uh, also, this beacon is something I can bring to terracotta biomes and go mine a bunch of those like terracotta. I can I can mine up like literal entire terracotta mountains to get a bunch of uh, uh, what's what's the what's the blue stuff? The blue stuff I like so much. Wait, not 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 blue stuff. It's um, I can't I can't remember. Uh, terracotta. So I'm gonna sorry. I was thinking of I was thinking back to the uh, Techhanced SMP SMP Techhanced, which I used to be a member of. It's weird that I've been a member of so many SMPs, but yeah. I almost, I almost, uh, when when my old friend from uh, SMP Tech Hunt, Stam, recently started his series on on an SMP, I, I wanted to be like, hey, Stam, can you can you invite me in? But then I realized it seems a little predatory, right, to to go up to a friend and be like, hey, uh, it seems, can you can you use the powers of nepotism to get me into your cool cool new group of Minecraft friends? But yeah, that's a uh, that was a, that was a thing. Stam, Stam, if you guys uh, remember my close list of SMP Tech Hans friends, Stam.io is one of the guys from Tech Hans, and yeah. yeah, that's 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 about it. And he's and he's now a member of an SMP. But yeah, I was I was a member of a lot of SMP servers. There was. So there was the SMP before it was called Tech Hans, like officially before it even had a name. There was a uh... God. There was there was um there was the SMP, the one with like zero season. The, sorry, with season zero. What am I? Zero season? What the fuck am I saying? There's um. There was uh the one the one with Elfie and Tiali. It was a uh, far uh, low tier SMP. And then there was Farlands SMP when we. Basically decided to call it Farlands SMP. Um, yeah, and then low tier SMP might come back. Uh, oh, by the way, Elfie and I are mixing our channels or fusing our channels. Well, not not really fusing. We are going to going to be collaborating. Yeah, collaborating. That's ladders. These are sticks. I can make more ladders with these sticks. I'm just putting down this crafting table temporarily, but it will probably never leave. Probably going to spend an eon sitting down there, and yeah, it's uh pretty cool to finally have a beacon. So you know what I should be doing? I should be putting down the beacon a lot lower in the world. Uh, should yeah you, you know what? Yeah, let's let's. Well, actually, I I'm I might do that off camera. Because on camera is time to get shit done. But yeah, this this insta mining is really, really one of the most satisfying things ever. Anyways, uh, the next goal is to. Well, I guess. What is the next goal? I guess the next goal should be to build a creeper farm because I do need one of those. I really do need a creeper farm, and the reason I need a creeper farm is for fireworks. Which I have next to none of. But okay, but here's the thing. So, I have nine pieces of gunpowder to my name, right? I could make a creeper farm, or I could make a farm that will produce a lot more things, which is a witch farm. And the way I would produce the witch farm is I would need to travel a long way away. I would need to find a witch a witch hut first. Once I find the witch hut, I would need to basically mark it out, and then I need to do a bunch of stuff to prep it for you know witch witch production basically make myself a small perimeter even and then using that using that those witches I'd get a bunch of gunpowder as one of the as one of the many things they drop so a lot of work cut out for me and a lot of traveling also but yeah Just very quickly snag all of this god I love insta mining I love insta mining so much Insta mining is my fetish. I'm only half kidding about that one. Insta mining is really good. But yeah. Also, with that, with this uh, beacon, I can actually get something else done, which is I can go down to the to the really low levels of my world and begin to clear out the space for a 
like auto smelter. Sorry, not an auto smelter, a super solder. Oh, sorry, an auto solder. So I just throw stuff in, and it gets automatically sorted into a bunch of different boxes. Oh, uh, it's you, you guys know how auto sorters work, how like you know mass item sorters work. So I'll build one of those, and when I build it, I will no longer need to worry about having to sort my own items. It'll all just go like section by section, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, this is a this is a pretty. This has been a super productive episode. I'm surprised that I'm surprised that I got the Wither Skulls that quickly. I mean, there was there was a bit of a dry spell between uh, second and first Wither Skulls, but I'm I'm surprised, genuinely surprised. Okay, so first, let me just quickly do that. Uh, get rid of all the ladders so we can find out just how deep this thing can afford to go. Four. Break this. Five. There we go. Okay, so we could we could afford to make this thing a little bit deeper. And you know what, I could also... I should also pick up more of these resources. Now, with all of these building blocks, I could make myself a very generic mob spawner, like here. Uh, I could also make myself a drowned farm, which would be... Actually, a drowned farm would be pretty baller, I'm not even gonna lie. I might make a super smelter so I can make a ton of bricks, and then with the bricks I can make a nicer looking drowned farm than I would have made otherwise. Uh, hmm. You know what? I think drowned farm is the next project we'll be working on. Yeah, drowned farm, we're gonna... Well, okay, first, the, the, the middle project that we're going to be working on is Super Smelter. We are just going to run inside the house, turn, and turn like a wall into a Super Smelter wall. So, we just bam, bam, throw out all the stuff that's not cobblestone. This, this, is, this is my to-be-sorted chest. I swear to God, it's not just me dumping a bunch of rando items into a chest and being like, yeah, uh, God will handle it. You know, I will sort this when I'm not on camera. Because item sorting, while on camera, a little boring. There we go. Eight of these bad boys. Let's put them... I keep forgetting there's no like straight path through there. Uh, okay, let's see. I don't really have space for a super smelter. Holy shit. Okay, uh, desperate times. We're putting it on the second floor of my house. So. First things first. We are going to need a bunch of wood. I have a bunch of dark oak logs ready. Ready and waiting. We're going to need to turn a, pretty much all of these into chests. And then we're going to need to make about 16 hoppers. Okay, that's the first step. And this is basically the same as a bee farm, except I guess like just just not with bees. Wow, my, my sometimes my genius astounds even me. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to put the eight furnaces here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we put a chest going into each of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I should probably also put a chest line running across. So that means I need to make eight more. I really should have a crafting room in every table. I, sorry, I really should have a crafting table in every room of the house, but I don't. So y you know, deal with it. <laughs> that's 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 like a really dickish response to a to a perfectly normal like theor hypothetical question. Like, hey, why don't you have a why don't you have a crafting station in every room of your house? Because eat bricks, you know, kick bricks, and then. You know, someone's just looking there sad, like, aw, aw, I don't want to, I don't want to eat bricks. Okay, so let's just, let's just start filling these bad boys up. And then the part of this that kind of sucks is that I'm going to have to basically manually add the lava to each of them. But, eh, I mean, each bucket is a hundred items. I can, I can do the setup so that it will make 200 per, 200 per sesh. Effectively, <laughs> and this is the part where you guys are like, "Sesh, isn't that isn't that like isn't that Se Skep's D and D character? That guy is Slesh, actually." Uh, 
And yeah, it's a good thing I have a bunch of lava, like, ready, ready-made. Okay. So, let me just very quickly, um... Well, first off, let me just grab... I want, I want to put, like... I want to put, like, two, two stacks, maybe? Two stacks into each of them, so... Two stacks and some change, okay. And that will be... That will hopefully be... A decent, a solid amount. Wait a second. 120, okay, yeah. 120 is more than that. So I need to put about three stacks into each of these, so... Okay. This, uh... Math is, math is not my strong suit, evidently. So I'll put three of these. I'll put... Uh, well, and then in the meantime, I will just... Oh! Apparently that was happening. I was not aware. But no matter what happens, all of this stuff should eventually begin draining... Like, into... Into, like, here. Yeah, see? All of the buckets are going to be ready-made buckets. And, of course, I could do this with a... I could do this with a Silk Touch pickaxe, but I only have the one. I only have one Silk Touch pickaxe, which means a lot of a lot of repair will have to go on between episodes. Oh wait, no, I have two Silk Touch pickaxes. That's that might actually make a little bit more of a difference. And what will also make a difference is sorting my inventory or sorting all my owned items so that the next time we're live streaming, I I know where everything fucking is. Uh. But we, we, we'll work on the more urgent problems first, which is like, uh, which is, well, super smelter. Everyone, everyone's house needs a super smelter in it, and mine, mine, my house is no, my house is no exception to this rule. And, uh, once I, once I've mined out a bunch more area, or once I've mined out a lot more stone, rather, we are going to have the items we need to build a drowned farm, which, in case you don't know, the drowned farm is actually super easy. It's uh, it's basically a dark room mob spawner, but over the ocean, and a lot bigger. And there's also a chance, a very rare chance of it dropping tridents, so that's cool. But the main cool thing about the drown farm is that it drops copper, which is a metal that I can use. Well, okay, okay, I'm not using copper for that much, but I can use it for roofing. And having a copper roof actually sounds pretty baller, especially if you look at the color palette of my house. I feel like green would go quite nicely. And if not, when I when I take over the ocean monument, I can basically start replacing parts of it with copper. Like that will oxidize and it'll give it like that that almost like coppery look. Which I think sounds like a pretty cool idea. I could be talked out of it though. Also, I realized uh I have not done this side. Cause I can't remember which chunk the uh, slime chunk was. I know it's one of these four, though. So I was thinking I'll just take take out all four. It's like, delete all four from reality. Monica style. I d God, that is a reference. That is a reference I don't think a lot of people will get in, like, five years' time. And again, it was, it was kind of... DDLC was kind of terrifying. I nearly shit myself when Monica called my name. And I was like, oh... Oh god, oh god, they know somehow. They they fucking know this. How, how the fuck does she know my name? I realized that it was probably because, you know, my name in the system was like Timothy's PC. And it's not really hard to make a guess based on that alone, that information. That like, yeah, yeah, I think the owner of this PC is named Timothy. But it was scary at the time. Anyways, uh, hmm don't like the look of accidentally like making whole patches in the wall. Okay, but yeah, we just uh break this stuff down. We'll have to flatten out a lot of the area and I'm not even going to know if any of them is a slime chunk until we hit Y40 something. So yeah, we got like 10 more blocks to go or 10 more layers rather. But yeah. I think the next stream's goal is going to be for me 
to get a massive number of, uh, I guess, like cobblestone deep slit. No, not yeah, actually no. Um, get a get a bunch of cobblestone, turn them into stone bricks. Use the stone bricks as construction material. Uh, use the construction material to build a drowned farm. Use the drowned farm to get me a trident. Use the trident to more effectively raid the ocean monument, which I'm planning to do by making it like this absolute monster of a trident. Like I'm talking. It's it's raining. It is raining outside my house. I need to close my windows. Okay, uh, to make an absolute monster of a trident. And then using that absolute monster trident, we're gonna... We are going to... Clear out the ocean monument. Once we've cleared out the ocean monument, that's probably gonna end up being my house. For the foreseeable future. Uh, not sure what else. Not sure what else is the plan after that. I know for a fact I want to make. Uh, I want a lot of gold. So a gold farm definitely. Uh, gapples maybe. Uh, wood farm would be nice. Uh, yeah, so many, so many things that'd be great. But yeah. Anyways, I distinctly remember this. Like this is the area that the uh, that the slimes down way down in that cave system spawn in. But it could be a lot more than just this chunk. There could be a lot more than just one slime chunk in my base. It's just that it's probably one of these four. And yeah, before this I was making really slow progress. Now, oh boy, I am making crazy progress. Oh, something else I want the trident for is uh, I want to use the trident while I basically fight to defend my villagers when I when I start the first raid. But yeah, I will become I will become Poseidon, god of the seas. No, oh, at the very least I'll become just like some guy with a trident, some psychopath with a trident. That's odd, oddly oddly apt descriptor of me. <coughs> Okay, let's uh Oh god, I can't do my usual chest grid. I'm gonna have to Okay, uh here we go. Let's put all this stuff in here. That's uh you know, you know, let's just chuck let's just chuck stuff up here. It's not like not like we're gonna okay, we'll probably sort it eventually. But it's not like we're gonna sort it now, right? Okay, let's grab all of the items that I dropped, or that were dropped, or failed to be picked up. And let's take this down one more layer, I think we can afford one more layer. Yeah, we should be able to. And as you can see, my pickaxe is already halfway dead. So, uh, gonna need an XP farm of some sort. Uh, that's probably where the drowned farm comes in handy. You know what, fuck it, let's take down three layers at once. Why not? Why not? Why would we not? Why shouldn't we? Why wouldst we not? Hey, more copper, that's going to be useful for me. Uh, but not as useful as having a copper farm. Copper and trident farm, all in one. Although the XP is pretty go, the pretty the the XP is pretty goaded with the sauce. If a quirked up white boy starts bussing it down sexual style. Oh, I think I think some family's over. Give me a second. Let me very quickly just finish the sh finish the uh, third layer, the three layers I promised, and I'll go out and say hi. Because I'm I'm reclusive, but I am not a recluse. I was worried for a sec my inventory was already full. That would have been crazy. There we go. Oh, I have miscalculated. But it was not such a huge miscalculation that I cannot just mine and cover and, and, and get everything aligned again. Okay. I love this feeling. I love the feeling of like running through a mine and then just like instant like popcorning all the ground. Like the 
pickaxe goes brrrr. Oh, the beacon, the beacon feels like a real game changer. Having a beacon, ooh, ooh. If you can't, if you can't tell, I'm trying to do that Sigma male face, the the Patrick Bateman face, the, the you know the face he makes when he's like, Patrick, it's you. You're the American Psycho. And then and then Patrick Bateman's like, I never said that. Yeah, that one, that one from the from the famous movie American Psycho, which I always thought would happen in the same cinematic. Oh, sorry, oh, not thought. I was I always head canon that uh, Patrick Bateman, like from from American Psycho, is a descendant of, oh, I guess is like somehow related to uh, Norman Bates from Psycho by Hitchcock. And there's, there's no no grounding for this except I think it'd be kind of funny if they were related. If he was, if if Patrick Bateman was like the fifteen times like grandchild of like one of one of Norman Bates's cousins, yeah, always been, always been a fun head cannon. Anyways, my pickaxe is entering the red, and but we are almost done with one more layer. Soon enough, we'll be able to tell which of these chunks is the slime farm, and then I guess we can just isolate that one. If it's multiples, then that's good, I guess. Because I just know the whole area is like slime riddled underground. Uh, ooh, how long have we been streaming for? An hour 47. That's okay. That is okay. Um, there's a lot of granite underground as well. Holy cow. Um... One other thing we could do, one other thing we could do with this place that I'm not planning on but would be kind of funny is some sort of revisitation of Project Hollow. And if you don't remember Project Hollow, it was something I did on the Tales of Calistria SMP where I basically decided I was going to mine out all 5 million blocks in the spawn chunks. It's, it's probably more now because back then spawn chunks were 16 by 16. Uh, now it's 21 by 21, I believe. But yeah, mine out every single block in the spawn chunks, and basically turn turn the whole place into one giant center of industry, above below ground. But yeah, I uh, started on that. It it I actually got I I shit you not, I actually mined about a million stone blocks in that. And people, people might not believe me, but I, I, well, okay, I was gonna say I have the screenshots, but I don't. I was gonna say I probably still have the world, not sure if I do, but it's, it was, it was a fucking gargantuan project. It was, but okay, it happened basically during the first months of COVID, and I was like, well, fuck it, might as well get myself, get myself busy, and I mined and I mined and I mined and I mined. And then Adrian can confirm. Adrian, uh, you guys, oh, oh my god, stream, stream, you've never met Adrian. Oh my god, Adrian's one of my super good American friends. Uh, Adrian was actually how I met Morgan, who you guys have met. And yeah, Morgan and I were both uh, players, Minecraft players on Adrian's server. Adrian set up a server for a while, along with um, Death Crystal, JD, uh, I'm not sure, oh god damn it, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you guys have met a lot of my American friends. You guys know Dominic. Dominic's in the chat sometimes. Uh, oh, that's that's weird. It's weird that I have like friend groups that don't interact. Like stream, stream does not stream has not interacted with the American friends before, which is which is weird. I call I called them the American friends because we 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 our group chat has a rather unflattering name, and. Uh, if I repeat it here, I might be banned for racism, but I, I just I just want everyone to know that the, the black members of the group were the ones who picked that name. And and I, I can't I really can't explain further without writing this down on a piece of paper and holding it up to the webcam, which I will not do. And my pickaxe is running low on durability. So this might be a good place to end the stream. Oh who am I kidding? I might just I'm probably just gonna come down here and finish off the rest. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's uh basically the only thing I need to worry about on on this on this world are phantoms and
Oh, whoops, I've not been putting those in the right chest. And even the phantoms don't bother me that much anymore, now that I'm kitted out and have feather falling on my boots. But yeah. So, I will basically put this into a chest. And actually, I can I can show you guys what I'll basically do. It's I'll put it I'll put it in my offhand. I will go get a bunch of materials. I'll get a bunch of mats, for example, a bunch of iron. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. We'll run down here, and this is currently at 168 durability. So what happens is I will wake up my slaves. I mean my indentured laborers. And we will dig them out of bed. <laughs> funny because it's holding. It's funny because I'm holding a shovel. We dig them out of bed. Uh, have them trade with us, and then our tools start to fix themselves. So it's went from 168 to 290. So I'm gonna go sleep the night here with them, and then well, actually, are there any other trades I could do to make a bit of a bit of dosh in the meantime? Um. I know a stone trade would be rather profitable, but I uh, do kind of need that stone. Make a big ass... Actually, you know what? Hold on. I got a bridge right here. Or at least I have a... not really sure what I intended to do with this, but... I have a... I have a block that goes out. Oh, wait. I think it was to... I think it was to get a zombie so I could put the zombie up there. Yeah, that makes sense, because zombies don't naturally spawn here. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to make a path to the drown farm, either from here or from there. And then it's going to be, it's going to go quite high in the sky, actually. It's going to go like 150, 100, it's going to be at like Y150 something, thereabouts. And then using that high Y value, we are not going to have to worry about a bunch of spawns below. Don't ask why I did that. I'm not. I, I cannot answer. I just kind of felt like felt like doing it. Anyways, I just I just got the vibe, you know. I got the vibes. I got the mobs. It was mob in time. Wonder when. Wonder when we as a society are gonna forget about Morbius, like the movie, not 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 Michael Morbius. Um, I don't think it's gonna be soon. Anyways, uh, put the pickaxe. I'll put this pickaxe back in the chest, and we can actually use the time we have left. I'm gonna end probably at two hours. I'm gonna end close, close-ish to two hours. But what I'm going to do between now and then is I'll put this up here. I'll snag this bad boy. Put all of these things up here. And um, oh, whoops, whoops. Uh, hold on. Gonna get this right eventually. Yep, there we go. It, it would have been faster if I stopped and then sorted my inventory out, but we don't do that here. We just do not. Now that's something smart people do, and I'm not smart people. Oh, right. Oh, right, I can also cap now capture ores in the compactor form. Maybe, maybe I should be using Silk Touch for this whole dig site. Oh, no. Whatever the case, I'm just going to quarry out the rest of this level, and we will use what stone we got to, uh, I guess begin... Oh, whoops. Wrong, wrong, wrong move. Uh, beginning to form the layout. So, it's probably just going to be three blocks that go out quite a ways, and then once we're, like, deep, deep in the middle of the ocean biome, no, no, like, outside in, in... I almost said inference. No outside interference. We are going to build a an elevator that goes to maybe Y150, may, maybe Y160. Uh, we're going to have a killing chamber that will either, like, swivel open automatically. Oh, we're going to have, like, a toggleable killing chamber, I guess. So campfires that will light themselves or not light themselves. Actually, uh... You know, we could do soul campfires. We could do soul campfires that will have a iron, that will have uh, trapdoors above them that will click open or closed. And then using that, we can we can basically make a quick toggleable system that will kill all the. No, that will. I guess depending on what I tell the system to do, either kill or drop the drop the drown to one heart. 
uh, drop the drone to like basically insta kill range, and then I will be there swinging with a looting weapon. And uh, first off, the, the farm's gonna give me tridents. It will it will undoubtedly give me tridents. There's no way it won't. Second off, the dra the farm will give me copper uh, if I have looting. Oh, if I have looting, I will get more copper from the farm. Third off, I'm gonna have. Uh, well, I guess ink is going to be a byproduct, but that's not something we're actively looking for. But, uh, yeah, we'll get ink as well, which I can sell to my villagers for quite a bit of dosh. Um, is there anything else? Is there anything else that I really, really need? Well, XP. I'm going to have XP to mend my tools, but that is actually not something that's super urgent, because I'm getting enough XP from the fact that I've done... How many villager trades has it been... Uh, I'm with World Open, 3.89 days. Traded with villagers, 6,246. Okay, so I've done about 6,000 villager trades. You know, that's that's quite a few villager trades. I'm still picking these up? Yep. Quite a few. That is that is actually quite a tremendous amount of villager trades. Uh, and if I do a little more, I'll have a bunch more XP, which is, which is you know, a thing. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very addicted to the feeling of just, like, doing this. In my defense, it's very, it's, it's a very addicting feeling. So addictive. So addictive. It's like Minecraft cocaine. I wonder if there's a cocaine mod for Minecraft. There probably is, let's be real. Mm, but yeah, I'm gonna go up. Uh, basically, I'll just move all the stuff that I've got into the chests. And I'll put the stone in this one. Because, oh boy, that is a lot of materials. Oh boy, we're getting resources for days. Don't need my pissed pants anymore. Could sell them to some weird guy online. Fun fact: Do you know there's a, there's like a whole industry around that, like like teenage girls selling their used underwear to Japanese, to like elderly Japanese men. Oh, I assume they're elderly. Could just be they could just be lonely. But yeah, that's that's. Say what say what you will about the Japanese people, they are very very enterprising. Singaporeans would not well like people in Singapore would not even think to have an idea like that. Not even think about using that to turn a profit. I want to say that the Japanese people are one of the most enterprising Asians. Vietnam is experiencing a come up right now. Like Vietnam is on the rise, and you know Vietnamese people are also very enterprising. There's there's a lot of like immigrant success stories of like Vietnamese people going to America in the wake of the Vietnam War, just chase the American dream and being like rich and successful. But like. But, like, Japanese people are very, very enterprising. And as much as I like to make fun of other Asians, I can't really make fun of their hustle. Can't really make fun of the hustle, like, the will that Japanese people have to hustle. Just can't. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of big plans. Some of those big plans include, uh, the big... You know what? Fuck it, I'm, I'm not that hungry, even though it's around lunchtime. Uh... I have one, I have two days off this week, but one of those days off I'm going to be spending entirely with my family, which means I might as well just work on the fucking farm today. Like, why not? So, what we're going to do, first things first, is we're going to take up this batch of stone, and we are going to get to work on the bridge, I guess. Now, the bridge is going to be basic, it's going to be very basic, it's just going to be a straight stone line, or stone brick line. The uh, stone brick line is gonna take us a little ways out to the ocean. Just just far enough that it doesn't cast a shadow over my lovely island. Uh, next up we're gonna... Okay, we might need to bring like a piece of kelp. A single piece of kelp and a lot of bone meal. And we're going to basically create a elevate, an express elevator up. And I guess... And express elevator down. We don't really need that because we can, you know, kind of just jump into the water. But 
I guess, you know, I guess, I guess, you know, find, find, find shit to do. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not fair. It's, it's more a case of, uh, it's more a case of, like, do shit, I guess. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven crafts. That is a lot of stone bricks. We are probably not even going to need as many as we think. Uh... And then I'm going to put a row of stone bricks up here. We are going to... That's not the one we need. I think the one we need is Solf Campfire, which comes from wood, sticks, coal... I don't know if planks are necessary. It could just be logs and nether materials. Did I, did I bring back any soul sand at all? Gonna have to check the chest, but I might not have brought back any soul sand. Does it work with soul soil? Yes, it does. Alright, that's four soul campfires. Okay. I'm sorry, chest. I really... I really am. I love you. But I... Sort of needs... Need, you know... Sort of need the inventory space more than you need to be sorted. Okay, let's grab all of these. Um, where is my kelp? There we go. Just a single piece of kelp should be good enough. Uh, this is blue ice. No, that's packed ice. Uh, I guess the method we're gonna use is bucket method. So we'll make we'll make a water bucket. We'll grab all of the. We'll basically pour the thing down, and that will... Well, that should be enough. So, I'm thinking that my... You know what? Almost anywhere is a good place for a drown farm. But I would like to build it out of render distance of my house. So, I'm on render distance 12. That is what I play on when I'm not streaming. So, let's just build out... Actually, I'd like to build it out of render distance of even the edge of my island. So if I do F3G, that's, uh... Okay, so we're about, uh, one... Hold on. Let's do some quick math. Two... Three... Three blocks. So... Four... This is... Yeah, this is, this is the fourth one. So... If we build out... Twelve... Of these, I want to say it should be enough. I could just go with like let's let's use let's use like three stacks. Or let's use you know common sense. Because Lord knows we don't do that enough. Don't mind me, I'm just practicing my speed bridging. I can still see the edge of my base. Uh, I tell you what, once the iron farm turns invisible, that's when we stop, make a right angled turn, and then Oh, there's already drowned gurgling their way around me. Where are you, by the way? If you have a trident, I'd like to kill you. Ah, there you are. Got a trident. Do I not have respiration on my helmet? Oh my god, this is a ghetto world I live in. This is the most ghetto hardcore world ever. Okay, nope, can still see the can still see can, 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 can still see the golem farm. I can still see the iron golem farm. Um I see it now? Yeah, like weird. Okay. <coughs> I might oh my god, is that spawn? Oh my god, I'm going to accidentally make a bridge to spawn in my attempt to not oh my god, okay. Uh hmm. Let's let's think about this real quick. Oh, wait, what did I... Did I just F3... I just f 3 odd instead of F3G'd. My bad. So, what we are going to do... Once the screen stops loading... Yeah, okay. Some... Oh, wait, I just saw a golem on fire for a second there. Okay. You know what, I think this is... I think this is good enough. So let's... Make a quick... Detour here. To the edge of this chunk. 
Just so that when I jump off this place, you know, like the moron I am, I'm not going to end up falling straight onto my own bridge and killing myself. That, that would be very funny, but it would also spell the end of my hardcore world, so I'm not going to do that. And let's make... You know what, let's make these, the two platforms. So we're going to go like this. Bam, 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 bam. And what we're going to do is we are basically going to make two of these. Now, one of these is a landing platform. Uh, that can that can be done quite simply. Uh, one of these is a platform that is going to have to go up very, very high. So, pour the kelp in here. And what did, what did I say before? Did I say 150? I think 150 is a good number. And I think once, like, the bottom of the ocean is completely out of render range, that is you know, a good enough number for me. So yeah. That's um actually hold on, the new the new limit's three hundred, right? So logically I should be able to go up to like two hundred and twenty. Which in a one twenty eight okay, actually two fifty six might be the best number. So uh so I might need to go a lot higher than I realized. Because the bottom of the ocean has got to be like 40-something, right? So 40-something, I want a full 128 sphere, but I also understand that this creates a lot of shadow and drown can spawn independent of like like ground. They need they can spawn like mid midway through the water column. So I think 256 is a good deal. Also, holy shit, I can see part of my house from here. I can actually see part of my house from here. That's, that's insane. So yeah, 256 plus a kind of high... Like spawning tower should be fair. Then again, that's the the taller I make this thing, the more stone bricks I'm gonna need. So then again, stone stone is not exactly a rare resource in this world, you know. Okay, yeah, let's 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 work on this. Two fifty six. And then, in the meanwhile, I'm going to have to basically bone meal. I'm gonna have to basically bone meal a shitload of kelp. And I'm probably going to want to put respiration on my helmet unless I enjoy the idea of dying many, many times. Okay, so this now works. I can swim out of the water column. Imagine if 1.20 somehow added like <laughs> added something to the game that I didn't pay attention to, and it was like Physics are now realistic. You now, if if you now hit the water from from a sufficient height, it'll be like hitting concrete. And I I don't realize any of this. I just jump out. I just fucking Geronimo my way out of the tower. Is the water coming down? I actually cannot see if the water is coming down. Did the water freeze? It was very high. Is that is that is that water moving? Okay, it is moving. That's good to know. Now, we might need a lot of bone meal for this. Uh, and as I bone meal, th this, these things, these blocks will start turning into solid water. So, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something about that. We might also want to bring torches and just like torch this whole place up because I don't fancy the idea of having my ops pull up on me via a bridge I made for them, you know? Okay, let's go through here. I'm going to need torches, first of all. I'm going to need... Well, I already have most of my stone bricks, but I couldn't take more. Okay, torches. Uh, stuff to make more torches. Just put this stuff away. That does not help me make more torches. This, this. Oh, these might actually help me make a lot more torches. I might need signs. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Where do I do I have signs just lying around? Yeah, got them. Okay. So, how many? I don't think I have enough. You know, I don't. I don't think I have enough at the moment. I probably have enough for the platform. Uh, but the platform 
is not the whole spawner. But I have enough for the platform that I will go up and basically build a top of. Is that a spider jockey? Ayo, hey that is how many gunpowder? It's four gunpowder, nice. It's gonna save me a little bit of a little bit of time when I need to make the witch farm, or when the witch farm is oper operational. Okay. Let's very quickly build this stuff up. And first things first. Place this here, this here, and then we put a I, I left the water bucket at home. I left the water bucket at home. Okay, don't worry. I can just break this block. And then... See, I'll break this block. I will put blocks up here. Put blocks up here as well. And... Damn it, why do I lag so much when I try to eat? This, this is really funky. Da, da, okay, and then what I'm basically going to need to do, trident, trident drowned, give me a trident, give me a fucking trident, wait, you're not the right, you're not, you're not the right drowned, give me, give me, give me the fucking trident, is that a trident, am I going to see a trident floating up to the surface, did he drop a trident? I don't think you dropped a trident. God damn it. God damn it, drowned. You had one job. <sighs> oh well. I feel like when a trident drowned dies, you should at least have like the option of picking up the the uh, the trident they threw on the they like the first trident they threw at you. If it's like embedded in something, you should you should kind of be able to walk up and be like, "Oh, yoink. This is mine now. Thank you." Also, you know what I'm realizing? I'm realizing that this is kind of slow going, and it might just be faster if I just built everything, like, everything at once. So I built, like, this, and then I'd build, like, three layers at the same time. And whenever I ran out, I would know. You know what? Let's 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 extend the stream a little longer. It's not like a it's not like the, it's not like stone is difficult to get. Uh, I can I can get the very basics of the farm up and running. I can go. Well, I I would say AFK, but that will kill me from starvation. I can go. Well, I can sit here for a while watching anime on my phone and then clicking to attack whenever there's a bunch of drowned like clustered up. That'll, that'll, that'll be a thing I can do. But in, just, just between you and me, I think, I think the cob, I think the stone bricks I have in my inventory might actually be enough to get me to the right height. Because 256 is four stacks, and I, this thing has a footprint of like eight. Well, mm, hold on. Let's let's do the math. Let's do the math on this real quick. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, uh, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty. Eh? Yeah, thirty. Okay, this this might be quite a. This might be like thirty stacks. This might be thirty stacks to get me. It might be thirty stacks. But as long as I had thirty stacks of stone brick in my inventory, I think we can manage. What is going to be difficult though, is getting up to that height without without um the whole the whole water column being established. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to basically go in, uh, bone meal the top, or bone meal the crap out of the bottom until it reaches the top, break it, 
and then you know basically have oh god and now and now my job becomes more complex okay uh one two three one two three one two three could I do a I could do a figure six that might work okay yeah let's 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 do this I might need to periodically break holes through here so I can jump in and breathe alternatively I could start I could start now but here's here's the here's the kicker I don't really think I'll be able to reach the top with the amount of breath I have so let, let me just get to the bottom bone meal it to the top oh wait does that hold on I just realized that if I turn this whole thing into um into like full blocks uh these are going to turn into full blocks and it's going to flood everything the whole tower is going to be flooded so in light of that I should probably encase it fully first before I do anything funny no strictly no funny business strictly no funny business is allowed and yeah also I'm realizing that I could just I could build like a kind of semi nice looking bridge to spawn the spawn bridge make it like a nice like a nice bridge made up of a bunch of like arcs cuz who doesn't like a good arch bridge right anyways as um you know what i i've sort of i've sort of caught myself with that idea i would like to make a bridge to spawn in fact if i can make a bridge to all the neighboring islands i don't know how many more islands are on this in this uh well i guess this ocean but however many there are, it would be fun to connect a few of them together, you know? Because who doesn't like being connected? I should have brought my elytra, holy shit. If I brought my elytra, I'd never need to worry about taking a fatal fall, like, onto the concrete. I could just, like, hop and fly back to base. Also, this is this is already stolen the stolen the title for tallest tallest project in my world from the, uh... What is that farm? The, the giant sugarcane farm. Although it would have been a lot more difficult to do if I decided to make it out of deep slate bricks. I will admit that much. But I think I think it's nice that it shares a sort of common theme with my uh, iron farm, which is that they are made they are made to get me a specific metal and because of that they are made out of stone brick. I might even do the same with the gold farm except the gold farm is probably going to use mainly magma blocks. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. Although here's here's something I could actually do. I could make the wither skeleton farm completely out of bricks. Or well, almost completely out of bricks. So it would be like the whole nether covered by bricks. Not sure how I'd feel about that aesthetically though. It's uh 135 do not have I do not have enough blocks to get up there. Alright. Uh, but it should not actually be that difficult for me to just hop on down, go to the, go to the uh, stone mine and just grab a bunch more. <coughs> but I have God, I've overestimated how much how many materials I need to get up there. Hope I don't end up inadvertently creating myself like a drowning tube or something. That would be kind of messed up. But it would also be very in character for me. It would be messed up, but it wouldn't be off-brand, you know? Yeah. Anyways. Oh, right, one more thing. There's there's an ocean monument, like, right over there. Like, right beyond where, like, my render distance... Well, okay, quite a bit beyond where my render distance stops. And I'm thinking that might be my final base. And if I do connect it with bridges, I want I want my ocean monument base to be connected to everything else with bridges as well. Yeah. It'll, it'll have like a giant stone like capstone ring I guess like it'll it'll have like a stone ring at the top and that stone ring will connect to a bunch of bridges and a bunch of bridges will connect to everything else in the world which I guess 
I guess would be I would be would be kind of cool. Like having one heart that connects to everything else. Now here's my concern. Is the tube have I made the tube too high to swim through? Because I don't want to have to use a water breathing potion every time I'd like to get up to my this 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 level. <coughs> Sorry. Still have a cough. I'm even starting to lose sight of the spawn islands. Holy cow. Oh, boy. How far we've come. Really? Like, like really, how far have we come? Like, I mean, I mean, from the start of the world till now. Well, actually, I do also kind of mean in a, gen in a general sense, it's like Hollow Heart YT. Look how much progress we made. Like, look at where you are. Look at where you started. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. To stay alive would be enough. Yeah, that's that's that should be my motto for this world. Oh, I made that layer a little bit short. Why did I make that layer a bit short? Is it because I subconsciously know I'm running out of blocks? Yes, it is. Okay, now. Can this can I swim down this without dying? If I can swim down it without dying, I can potentially swim up it without dying. But I'm not sure how the logic in that like applies. Okay. So this is that is going to be the last chance I have to swim up it before it gets too high. Or, alternatively, I bite the bullet and put respiration on my hat. <clears throat> I already have depth stride on my shoes. I might as well I might as well just put respiration on the fucking hat. It's not gonna financially ruin me or anything. Although it might feel like it. Okay, yeah, let's let's put respiration on the hat. I also like how I just call it the hat. It knows, it knows who it is. It knows it's the hat. Okay, that's one bit of the stone I need. The other bit of the stone I need is probably still in that chest, or probably still in the ground. I tell you what, we'll, we'll go until we run out, and then once we run out, I will, I will, uh, I'll, I'll handle getting, I'll handle stone brick acquisition. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, oh wow, tall, very tall. Hey Jeeves. Wait, sorry, shit, is his name Jeeves? Do we agree to call him Jeeves? We might not have agreed to call him Jeeves. Whoops, sorry for offending you, Mr. Golem. Uh we we agreed on Alphonse, right? Did we? Nah, I'll put I'll put a Oh wait, actually do I have an Aqua Affinity book? It, uh, do I wanna put an Aqua do I wanna spend the cost of putting an Aqua Affinity book on my helmet? I mean, okay, I'm really loaded in terms of Minecraft wealth, but at the same time, I really don't want to spend, like, that much on making a hat that works well. Then again, I was willing to put respiration on it, so really don't know what the fuck I'm complaining about, or what the fuck I'm, halt like, dragging my feet for. Okay, this should be enough for us to go a little bit closer to the top. Or, actually I think with Respiration 3 I could make it all the way to the top if I swam straight up and I swam very quickly. Let's, let's, let's have a gander. That's propaganda. Okay, so wait, hold on. L looking at the tower's edge, it looks like I'm almost at the top. Hold on, what height is the tower? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What I need to do is I need to very quickly replace like a bunch of my inventory slots, make a bunch of bone meal, and then... Okay, 
build it a little closer to the top. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to make it to the top. There's no way I'm not going to be able to. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, do I actually have enough stone brick in my inventory to reach there? I want to say that I do, but a full inventory was got me to 170, 177, or 176, right? I'm not sure if a partially full inventory is going to get me the remaining 80 blocks. Which means more mining. Which means mining until I have like a double chest of stone. Actually, not not even that. Like I need four or five double chests for the final design. <laughs> oh, I also need a lot of wood. I'm going to need a monstrous amount. Like enough. Okay, so like imagine like a spawning platform, like standard standard issue Minecraft spawning platform, with like those those like square. I guess mob collectors, and then imagine another one, slightly larger around it, and then imagine tr like open, not I, I almost said open trapdoors, imagine open fence gates all the way around. And that is basically what I'm dealing with in terms of resources, so 200 plus fence gates, uh, and Every single layer is about one stack, or every single layer of the giant like layered cake that I'm going to make is going to be a stack of stone bricks. Or we could use a different build block. I'm, I'm no, 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 nothing that I'm completely set on at the moment. Oh wait, I went too high. So high. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I like about this this specific level in the ocean? It's that I can it's that I can see my base and it's actually like kind of coming together. I didn't I didn't think it would be. Like I didn't think it would look this good from like outer space or almost outer space. But it, it kinda has. You know, it's kind of kinda looks nice for once. Which is not something I think about a lot of my hardcore bases. Uh but this 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 is great. I'd even I'd even like to make a dome around my house one day. Like a preservation dome. <sighs> Sorry again about the almost constant sniffling. Uh really not much I can do about it. I mean that's a lie. I could subject you to the obnoxious like nose blowing ASMR. Like I could <sighs> I could do that every 5-10 minutes, but I, but it doesn't really avail me much. I'll just be sneezing again. I'll just be, so not even sneezing, I'll just be producing phlegm again and coughing because it's dripping down into my nasal passage in, in two minutes. Yeah. I know that if I left the corner blocks out, I'd probably get a lot more mileage. In fact, I'd probably get like a quarter more mileage, but this is a... This is this is kind of a project that's meant to be in the world for a while, so it's got to be a little bit more aesthetic, you know? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. I want it to look good. I want it to look really good. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yada yada, here we go. One da 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 Placing blocks all day, Macarena. Man, we've had an oddly productive episode today. Now that I think about it, like I, I usually I like to s s do like midway through the stream, or like towards the end of the stream, I'll be like, wow, we've done, we've been productive, but we have actually been productive, very. Like we killed our first Wither skeleton, or we just got our first Wither skeleton skull rather. We'd killed a lot of them before. Um, then we killed our first wither. 
then we basically started a started work on the slime farm and we took the dividends or we took the stone we got from the slime farm and we immediately started work on this which is going to be dare i say it one of the first mega projects of the world because it is going to be a very big farm uh, but it's going to be quite simple in terms of resources. There's going to be a catchment area, which is quite simple in terms of like mechanics. And then, then yeah, we're basically going to be at it. Oh, I am out. Unfortunately, we ran out so close that I could like almost taste the ceiling. I could almost, re well, not the ceiling. I could almost taste the platform we were on. But yeah, from 256. We'll go out a little bit that way, and we'll have a giant cube that goes to 312, or whatever the hell the build limit is, I don't really know, but it will capitalize on the fact that we will be getting a huge amount of drown spawns. Yeah. And that because they can't see anything to make them aggressive, they'll probably just sink, and then when they sink, uh, they'll fall, and when they fall, I'll be there to kill them. But yeah, let's... uh. Just very quickly unload all my inventory stuff here, and I guess it's I guess it's a good place as any to end the stream. So I'll catch you all later, Doctor Quantum. Thank you for sticking around as long as you have, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.